Minneapolis welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Eddie Chambers. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Eddie Chambers is making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round scheduled for 10. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Chambers. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Mike Tyson. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. How important is the jab in a matchup like this, a power puncher against an outside fighter? You know, that's a great question, Joe, because a lot of people would think, and I think wrongly, that the speed guy, the boxer, the jab would be only important to him to stay on the outside, use defense a little bit with that jab separation. But of course, the power puncher, he wants to use that jab to close the gap. That straight right unable to connect. He gets off with a combination up top. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He scored well after being hit himself. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Solid shot again downstairs. My kid, focus. And he decides to tie up again. Eddie Chambers blocks it away. Eddie Chambers is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. We come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, the punch stats prove it, but obviously, listen, if you're going to work more than the other guy, you're going to win the round. Yes, you are. Usually, as long as those punches have eyes, as long as they're getting into scoring areas, clean shots. And he's holding. A headshot blocked. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Huge uppercut by Tyson. A well-placed left hand up top. A 
finishing hook by Chambers. Eddie Chambers with a big right. Chambers, nice target of that hook. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Blocked by Mike Tyson. In and out. In Good combination to the head. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Come on, get fucked. Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. Keep it. And round number three is underway. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Tyson's easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Chambers. Come on, to the head he goes with a left hand. Body shot lands, it was the right. Unable to connect by Eddie Chambers. Tyson has a very underrated jab, and he shows it off here. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Fires right back at him. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. left hand that landed by Eddie Chambers. Great hook to the head that time. And the round comes to an end. Nice work. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Mike Tyson's taken the first three rounds. And Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator, but in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything bad. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Mike Tyson smacked up top him timing that double jab to the head well i don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher but i get the sense you'd agree with it yeah definitely i mean he's got nice the perfect work, nice platform work. the perfect form for it the guy's walking in right now not moving his head much he can time him he can counter him mike tyson is so dangerous with that accuracy a two punch combination landing Halfway through round number four. Solid hook. Eddie Chambers is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Fast Eddie with a fast jab. Look at that. Oh, banged around and down. Joey has no choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? One, two, three, four, five. Eddie Chambers is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. There's 
the old one-two. Tyson's left now getting into the mix. Eddie Chambers' failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute. Try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He just missed that shot up top. Flush right hand to the head. Well timed by Mike Tyson. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Right to the head with that right. Eddie Chambers is showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work. But make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Solid left hand to the head. And now he scores well with a straight right. Eddie Chambers has got those earmuffs on. He's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Mike Tyson's precision punching has carried this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid and he has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Eddie Chambers is left. Working well that time. He missed with that headshot. A couple of quick jabs landed by Mike Tyson. How about that left hand? where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. Solid shot. The left hand came in. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And Tyson stunned here, and so are we. What a stunning turn of events. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Mike Tyson weathered that storm. Now the question to me, does it make Tyson defensive-minded? That's good news if it does for his opponent. Boy, what guts. What guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. A huge right hand from Eddie Chambers. They both.
both decide to bring it. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. And he ties up on the inside. Solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Tyson's gunned down yet another opponent.